Andrew and Lisa's log, day 75. Is this day 75? <laughs> I don't know, it might be. <laughs> Just making it up. Hello. Hello. That was our tribute to Brian, wasn't yes. it? Because The lovely Brian Williams. Because today we are looking at Doctor Who and the power of three. Yes, we're looking at 21st century Who. Yes, and that's yeah. what came up on the random... Yes. So, there we are, series Look. seven. Oi! <laughs> it's the that's power Miss of bottom is falling three. Out. Which you can probably see on there somewhere. Yes. There. It's a good thing it wasn't dinosaur and spaceship because I would have gone. Had to go you have didn't want to do dinosaurs, no. did you? It makes me but, sad. But yes, I mean you've mentioned dinosaurs, and it's mm -hmm. rather interesting in that it's two Chris Chibnall scripts in a row, which are very different to yes. each other. Not quite in a row. Uh, yeah. No. Dinosaurs on the spaceship is is it's two. And then you've got a town called Mercy. All right, okay. In the middle, and then you get Power of Three. All right, Power both. of Three is episode four. Is it? Yes. I'm all confuzzled now. Oh, you're right. Well done. Well done. Yes. You're a girl and you know mm. about Doctor Who stories. Isn't I that amazing? Know. Isn't it amazing? Yes. yes. <laughs> but do you think this is the nearest clue we've got to what Chris is? first season is going to be like well, it, possibly it's more domestic yeah you know what I mean? in more the, set in on earth yes um in people's houses there, there's a lot of stuff just set in the house yes yeah with the doctor that, getting bored I, yeah and mm. i do i do wonder if that's just maybe what we're going to see more of possibly yeah. this year but, I, I, well, I don't know i've got a clue considering that the, at this point in time as far as we know the doctor has lost the tardis as far as we know as far as we probably, know. That's probably not true. Though, For a really. couple of episodes, maybe. Maybe. We should see. But we start off with the, the wibbly title sequence. The wibbly title got, sequence, yes. You've got this yes. this sort of year, and mm -hmm. everything's jiggled about each each week. Which yes. is, uh, I'm not sure whether that works or not. Because, um, you know, it's, it's an interesting idea, but it does feel more like... Um, it's the case of, well, what does this button do, isn't mm. it? It's, you know... Mm. I mean, I like the fact that you, in the actual writing, the, you know, the, where it says Doctor Who, mm. each week it's something the different. The logo is slightly different. So this week you get the cubes. But, yeah. Uh, you get, like, uh, for the dinosaurs yeah. episode, you get S scaly scales, skin and... and you get Dalek bumps for a sign But I can Daleks. understand people on the sort of branding side... Mm -hmm. You complain that there's no consistency in in the branding. But there's still week the logo. The logo is still the same. But, but it's yeah, still it's, the it's, same. It's just an interesting idea. It's still idea. this logo. Yeah, it's but just it's just all the bits in between are different. So. But yeah. Oh yeah, it's an interesting mm -hmm. idea. Um, but yeah, Mark Williams, mm -hmm. of course, with his second and sadly final appearance. Yes. Um, yes. I could have done with a lot more from him, yes. frankly. More, more, more Brian Williams. Bring yeah. Brian Williams back. Yes. Unless that's what Graham's going to be like. Maybe, maybe. Hmm. Um, so, what have we got? Um, what's that say? Not at wedding. What does that mean? He wasn't at the wedding. Oh, he wasn't. He's not at an Amy's and Rory's wedding. Ah. Because, obviously, at that point, he hadn't been he cast. He hadn't been cast. So, I don't think... You, you sort of see a quick shot of Rory's side of the family, but I can't remember if his mum and his dad are there. Hmm. But if they are, then maybe it's his stepdad or something. But I think he's quite good convincing casting for Arthur Darvall's Yeah, yeah, dad. they do look quite like There, there is a similarity. Yeah, yeah. I'm not sure Amy's dad looks much like her, does, no, it, does he? Tiny little, <laughs> tiny little Augustus da Pond. Danny DeVito, as yes. I always thought it was. Yes. Um, I've just put Cox. Cox. <laughs> Brian Cox. <laughs> Brian Cox, and that's a very much... This that's, is, that's the scientist, Brian that's Cox, very not much, the actor, Brian Cox. Very much a, a Russell T Davis thing yes. of, of the whole... Yeah. News readers, news readers and celebrities because mm. of course later on you get Alan Sugar as well yes um, but yes uh, Brian's explanations as to what could be going on are very thorough mm. and for somebody who's not spent any time having adventures apart from the Silurian stuff mm. but it's interesting because how much do you think how much time do you think Brian spent with the Doctor I don't know because you've got that shot of him with Seeing his legs, legs dangling, dangling with his tea, with his tea, yeah, and then he sends a load of postcards. Yeah, I don't know. I don't so, think he actually goes off you know, and travels. Do with you the think doctor. Big Finish have got scope for loads Possibly, of yeah. Brian adventures? Yeah. It's, it's Brian good. and the Doctor. Yeah. Mm. The Big that, Finish. If you do that, want to credit? That, that, that's our idea. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's probably Chris Chibnall's idea. Well, to yeah, be honest, but yeah. Well, we come um, up with the actual idea. But yes, enter Keith. 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 
Kate <laughs> Lethbridge Stewart. Or Kate Stewart. Or Kate Stewart. She was herself. Mm -hmm. uh, making her uh, debut in broadcast Doctor Who, yes. but by no means her debut no. in sort she of does, other other media. She does appear in a couple of fan things. Yes, because there's downtime. And yeah. Is it Deimos Rising? I think That's what she's you said. Well. Yes, Apparently. Deimos I've not Rising. even seen that. No, we've no, got, we've got downtime upstairs. Have we got it on DVD as well? Have we got it? Yeah. And uh, who, who's in that um, um, that we know? Might be a certain I think Matt West, West might be in that. Yeah. Yeah. I think he's slightly embarrassed about that. I haven't that. spotted him in that, but no. I'll have to, have to look. We'll have to watch it and see. But yes, Gemma Redgrave. Let's, yes. let's, let's talk about Gemma for a few minutes. Gemma Redgrave. She's absolutely lovely. Yeah. When did we see her? It was a couple of years ago. Yeah, a few years ago now, nearly three years ago this year. Uh, two, two, isn't it? 2016, was it? No. Really? Was yeah. it? Oh, no, surely not. No, it wasn't 2016. No, no, because oh, right. the podcast. Two years ago, then. Yeah, the podcast has been going two years. Oh, yes, two years ago. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Yes. We're only on episode 22. Yeah, yes. yeah. Um, and yeah, she was at the Regenerations. Um, and convention. her wonderful Sybil Faulty laugh. Yes. Yes, which made uh, the, made the audience laugh, which made her laugh more. I think she was a bit nervous, bless her, because we missed the start of the panel. Yeah, didn't we? we we came we were, in halfway through. We were having through. a photo taken with um, who was it? Terry Malloy, I think. Might have been. Usually mm. is, isn't it? That one. Well, that one. Up yeah. There. Right. Um, you can't see it. It's not <laughs> no. on good work. But yeah, so um, and we came in and the panel was uh, had started and we sat down next to Jenny. Yeah, right. Hello, yeah. Jenny. Yeah, yes. Um, and. She was being interviewed by David Bickerstaff, mm. and then halfway through the panel, oh yeah, it's the bloke with the book. Isn't yeah, it? somebody goes up on stage and says, "Could you sign my book?" And David Bickerstaff got really, really cross. Well, and he was understandably, like, understandably, he's like, "No, no, that's you rude. Can't, that's rude." And and off the guy trundles, and we got a round of applause, and, and she laughed a little bit, and then we got over it. Rory's pants. Rory's pants. Do you like Rory's pants? Can't really see that much of Rory's pants. It's sort of orange, I think. Yeah. Did you want to see more of his pants? Not really, no. Oh, oh all right, okay. Uh, <laughs> what have we got? Uh, Twitter accounts for the cubes. Yes. I like that detail. Mm. There's loads of fake accounts yeah. already. And the doctor just rolls his eyes at Twitter. Set, yes. set up. Right. Mm. I mean, yeah, the doctor's whole being bored stuff is yeah. is, is, is silly but fun. Mm. Painting, um, sort of creosoting the face. It's the way and... he, he, he mows the lawn. It's, yeah, it's, that's a really it's, bad way to mow the yeah, lawn. Yeah, it's, it's, well, it's, it's, it's a real piece of comedy from Matt Smith. Because yeah. he's just, it's the way he does it. It's not at all normal, which the doctor wouldn't be. Yeah. But it's interesting that this episode sort of illustrates you've got um, Rory and Amy having their life with the Doctor mm. and then their real life as well. Yes, and, and they clash. Yeah, and the, the mm. Doctor doesn't seem to understand that they've got commitments, no. you know, no. here as well. Mm -hmm. yeah. and, and, and Amy marries Henry VIII. Yeah, oh, that's true, yeah. Mm. Uh, right but, but Brian's log, as we referenced at the start, mm. sitting there talking into his camcorder. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Where are the rest of the entries? I can't find them on YouTube. No. Perhaps he never uploaded them. No. Um, you've got the creepy kid in the in the hospital. In the hospital yeah. And that, that's mm. very much a thing for this sort of period of the show. Mm. The sort of kids. Because mm -hmm. uh, it's a bit like the creepy kid in um, Bells of St John, the one that comes down the stairs yes. with a swivelly head. Mm -hmm. um, yes. Um, so you've got 1890, we visit, mm -hmm. with the, with the uh, Savoy... Hotel. Hotel. And I'm not, the moment they said 1890, do you know what my first thought was? What's that? Sergeant Cork. Oh, right, okay. yes. <laughs> I'm still not convinced it is set around 1890. It's roughly around then. Or is Raffles it, is, then. Do you want it, Raffles? Hmm. Raffles should be there. Is it ever referenced when Sergeant Cork is All right, Jago and Lightfoot. All then. right, whatever, yeah. Jago and Lightfoot and Madame Vastra. Hmm. Where's, where's she? So you've got the Zygons being mentioned. Mm -hmm. So that'll, that'll pay off. Soon. Later. Um, I like that scene, um, Brian. What happened to the other people? Yeah, because he's no fool, is Brian? No, is he? he's, no. He's, he he spots the fact that they come back and they're wearing different clothes. And I just wrote mm. more scenes like this in the future, please. Yes, yes, it's a little bit of emotional resonance at yeah. the heart of the story, you know. And the you, doctor explains what happens to yeah. these other companions. Some leave, some stay behind, and some die. Yeah, you've got Yorkshire pudding and mm. wheeze and. Um, the Ponds decor fascinated yes, me. They've got a load of music hall posters yes. up on the wall, it yes. seems to be. Mm -hmm. uh, and some masks that you didn't like. Yes, my mum used to collect masks and, and I've never really liked mm. them. They're a bit sinister. It's the fact that obviously they're 
because it's a mask, there's no... There's just eye holes, mm. so there's nothing... But do you there. think all of the decor fits in with their characters as... as I don't know. As established? I'm, I'm not, not sure, sure about the musical posters. Because, I mean, if you look around our walls, it's it's all a mishmash of mm. stuff, isn't it? And we I, don't have a musical poster, I mean, it does. It does seem to be a little too designed yes. to me. Yes. It's, it's like something like the art department have thought, mm. you know, this fits as, as a whole. And mm. I don't. I don't think real houses are necessarily like that. No. That they're all a bit more. Well, some you, people's are. Yeah, that you get you get mm. one thing one year when mm. you go somewhere, and then you get something else, and they don't quite join up. Yeah. It, some it, people's do. Some yeah. people have the same decor. Yeah, so like, but has, ours is nowhere ours near is shambolic. like that. Yeah. And as I said, we do we do have a musical poster because we have a musical poster for Lee Sing Chang. Oh, that's true. Mm. But that's a Doctor Who thing anyway. It is. Tower of London. Mm. Right, do you want to briefly tell a Tower of London story? How many Tower of London stories uh, have you got? But How about one, Paul and the... one good one. Paul and the man. Paul and the man. But it wasn't, it wasn't necessarily... Why is it so worse than it is? I went to the Tower of London with Paul. Yeah. Hello, we, Paul. Hello, Paul. He's in France at the moment, so... You won't see this at the moment, but... And we, we, we did a, a tour with one of the beef eaters. And you're always in a huge group of, of tourists... And you, you walk round obviously all of the Tower of London and the last place you finish is the church, the yeah. per- Church of St Peter at Vincula. And because it's a church, yeah. they say, you know, we, we, we would be grateful, we would respect the fact because it's their church. Yes, it's yes, where yes, they yes, go yes. to worship on a Sunday. But there's a step as you walk in. <laughs> That's a last A little step. tiny step. It's not even a very big step, but it's sort of unexpected. And the beef eater, or Yeoman Walder, as they yeah, probably like be to be called, yes. called said, um, be careful of the step, because if you step down it and you fall over on your lady, you're a lady, we will help you up. Yeah. If you step down, fall down it and you're a gentleman, you can help yourself up. Yeah. Uh, what happened? <laughs> Paul steps down it. He didn't quite fall over, but he did stumble. Yeah. This point on, we can't look at each other. Because you're just giggling. Because we would get the giggles, and we're in church. And you shouldn't giggle. And we can't giggle in church. So we have to stand virtually <laughs> back to back to stop from giggling. And then when we go out... You do it again? No, no. Yeah. Um, the young man walked us at the door and he says, thank you, and you say thank you to him, and people give him a tip. But yeah. we couldn't give him a tip because we didn't have any change. Yeah, have so any not only did we get the giggles, we looked tired as well. But I'm sure Paul wouldn't have mind being caught by the warders. He wouldn't, would he? but they wouldn't have picked him up because yeah. he was a gentleman. So. That's not fair, you see. No. But, yeah, we, we have been there that time. We were. I don't know if that was the time that um, they showed us in... Uh, there's a bit in the armoury they don't normally mm. show it but they showed us it and he was moaning about William Wallace and, and um, well, Mel Gibson actually who was moaning uh, the, the young Warden. Warden because right. because everybody wanted to see about wouldn't know about William Wallace and he was moaning because Mel Gibson had made him look better than he was or something because so, of the film Braveheart oh, well, I've mean, yeah. not really seen it uh, the birdie song gets a reference yes. which is a little yes. uh, nod to Mr Kef McCulloch mm-hmm. of course um, what have we got? The first face this face ever saw. Yes. That's a, that's a nice... Yes. Nice scene, isn't yes. it? Yes. Um, first and last, almost. The hospital corridor that Brian goes into is suddenly very empty, isn't it? Yeah, it's yeah. like it's... Yeah, it's, it's a sort of deserted bit of the hospital, yeah. which I'm, I'm not sure... It's a bit like the TV movie, where McGann wanders off into an yeah. area where suddenly there's nobody there. There's nobody there, and it's all wet. It's been, been closed off, I think. Yeah. Oh, one thing I did I, I did want to say, I'm um, talking about some art department things. Mm-hmm. Um, it's when you get the caption that says December. Yes. And to demonstrate December, mm. they wound some tinsel around the around the pillar. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it did remind me of that um, Rivals of Sherlock Holmes, where to show France... Oh, yeah, they put a French flag. There's a French flag up yes. in the room. Yeah. <laughs> as we said at the time, might as well just had a, had a some writing on But I just like the idea, how do we show it's December? Stick some tinsel up. Yeah, yeah and that's... have Christmas music. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Um, there is the question, why is it Rory's hospital? Mm. And that's a script editor niggle, isn't it? That yeah. There's no reason given. There's no real given. reason for it to be Rory's hospital. Yeah, it, but, is it a big coincidence or yeah. is there a reason that we've never been but, told? I said, to, I said to you, perhaps it's because um, there's Archon energy there. Maybe. Because he's there and he's been in the TARDIS. Yeah. Like Cole Hill School. Yeah. All right. Yeah. You know. I've said, how long has that kid been sat on that chair? Ages. Well, I said nobody takes nobody's, notice, kids. Nobody's noticed her at all. No. Um, uh, da, 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 da. Oh, Doctor Who's buttons. 
and Doctor his shirt. Who. Now this is a question for Douglas McKinnon. Yes, if you're watching Douglas, which you're probably not. Well, you never know. We can but hope. Mm -hmm. um, when um, Amy does the heart resuscitation jobby yes. on, and I will call him Doctor Who because that's mm -hmm. his name, um, she rips his buttons open like this. Yeah. Oh, it's all right, I'm not going to do it. No. So, m normal shirts, if you did that, all the buttons would ping yeah, everywhere. Yeah, the big buttons pinging everywhere. Yeah. But it's... And then, you... then you get to the the lift. Yeah, and his and, buttons are down again. His buttons are all... So, did yeah. she sew them all back on again? No, because no, if because you look in the next in, shot... Yes, in the shot, they're all still yeah. on there, aren't So, there's they? special hardware and Gallifreyan there's, buttons. There's special buttons that ping open and yes. don't fall off. Yes. Um... You've got Stephen Burke off um, mm. with some sort of makeup showing yes. off his sort of um, horny old skin, I suppose. <laughs> yes. Um, it, it, it's very much sort of played down as to this is the plot, isn't it? Mm. But as you said, this this episode is not about no, it's this not, plot. It's not about the it's about Amy and It's about the, the uh, relationship Rory. between Amy and Rory and the yeah. Doctor and Brian. So, so the, the, this, this bit of the plot is dealt with very, very quickly, mm. isn't it? Basically, the Doctor just waves... Right. Waves the scary. Sonic and then everything's all right again. But um, I think there might have been some other scenes that yeah, didn't I, I, get Yeah, filmed. it does feel like uh, there's some missing yes. material, yes. isn't, isn't um, there? I um, have heard rumours that Stephen Burkhoff was not the easiest person to work with. No way, OK. And no more on it than that. OK. But um, Don't know. Don't know. he does have a reputation of being rather difficult at mm. times. OK. So... Yeah. You know, I heard somebody said when they were rewatching it, why didn't they get somebody else in? And then the answer to that is cost. <laughs> if you've already paid somebody to do it, yeah, unless it's absolutely unusable, you're not going to pay somebody else to do yeah. it. You just just salvage what you can and work but, around but it. But the doctor sort of waves the waves the sonic, mm -hmm. and the sort of heavy electricity sort of um, you know works, and mm -hmm. there we are. Um, what have we got? Uh, Oh, swings to swing on. Swings, that's my favourite line. Yeah. We've actually got, we, we had a calendar um, a couple of years ago that had a, a Doctor Who quote on each page. Mm. Yeah. And, I mean, they did double them up, but that's my favourite line. But Matt, Matt, the Doctor says, oh, yeah. I better go, I've got planets to save and swings to swing on. And that, for me, totally sums up the 11th Doctor. Okay. He goes from planets to save and swings to swing on. Because okay. he's a big child at heart. <laughs> and, uh Lots of fairy lights. Yes. <laughs> Again, it's quite TV movie-esque, because mm. the TV movie, you've got that scene, um, these shoes, they fit perfectly. Yes. And there's all these fairy lights wound mm. round the trees. Because it's Christmas. Yeah, and, mm. and the ponds have got a load of fairy years. lights. Now, admittedly, over there, we've got some fairy lights. Yeah. That's just because we never got round to taking them down. Well, we did from, have them on occasionally. They from, came, from in, the they came in handy Christmas, that so, yeah. time when the electricity... But ours are just sort of in a, in a lump, aren't they? Yes, they're and, they're, as... and they're not coloured, they're clear. Yeah. Um, mm. But yeah, bring them back safe, and Brian's watering the plants. Yes, because that's what he's. Somebody's got to do that, yes. haven't they? Which is true, yes. you know. Yeah, unfortunately, um, the doctor won't bring them back safe. No, because you have got the there's that um, online scene as well, haven't you? Yeah, we're, that's we're for just um, done as animation. Agent, a Angel Take Manhattan. Yes. Yeah, that, that was actually that's it was a written you, scene. Yeah. Um, but they didn't film it. But it's the scene that shows. Um, Amy and Rory's adopted child go yeah. to see Brian and explain what happened. Yeah. Because from his point of view, they never return. Yeah. Unless the Doctor goes back and tells him what happened, they never return. Yeah. They're stuck in 1930s <laughs> Manhattan and the Doctor can't get back to him, which is, has caused so much debate over the years yeah. as to why he can't go back. But he can't because... That's the rules this he week. He can't, yeah. 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 And yeah. that's the next story anyway. Yeah. We should be okay, talking about we'll that. Talk about it. There you go. Um, oh, yes. What do you make of that? Because it's not long since we last saw it. No, it? no, because we've been watching Matt's uh, last series. We've, yeah. we've, we've sort of stalled a bit now because we're doing other things for the podcast. Mm. But, um, yeah, it's, I like The Power of Three. It feels quite a different style of storytelling. It does. Um, it does. Which is not, not a bad thing at all. So, no. as I said, it'll be interesting to see whether you can see any, Link to it. any links to mm. it in, in what's coming up. Sort of, you know, in the next year or so. So mm -hmm. we shall see. But yes, it's. But thank I you, like that. Yes. Thank you to everybody who did involved in the story. Yes, yeah, and it's, it's a good solid seven out of ten yeah. for me. Yeah. Okay, well, we'll mm. see you again soon then. Okay. With, a, with another random episode. Bye bye. Bye bye.